Hi, I'm Fred Exlander. Welcome to The John Burns Show. The atrium here at the best location of Realty USA has been transformed into an art gallery and it hosts rotating events of local artists throughout the year. Through the month of June, the atrium is featuring the paintings of local emerging artist Dylan Utter. And Dylan is with us here today. Dylan, welcome to The John Burns hey, Show. thank you. Dylan, you have an amazing uh, group of, of paintings here at the atrium, and oh, let's uh, talk about a couple of them, okay? Okay. Let's start with uh, this painting right here. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, tell me a little bit about it, what motivated it, and what uh, inspired the, uh, the painting as you executed it. Uh, this painting took place in Endicott, and I was walking through a parking lot one afternoon, and this was the back door of a pawn shop, and I heard them talking and making a ruckus, and it drew my attention over. So. I went over and photographed them and got into a conversation about pawning cameras and later they brought me in for a tour in the back room, showed me all sorts of interesting items they collected over the years. And that inspired uh, this work. Now, I, I think I originally saw this at the uh, Windsor Whipworks Art Gallery this past winter and when I saw them I was just really taken aback by it uh, uh, and, and knew that it had to be displayed elsewhere so we put the show together here at the atrium. Now, uh, Dylan, I sort of have coined a phrase for your paintings. I call it realistic expressionism. I kind of made that up, but what would you call it? And uh, what uh, sort of motivates the way that you uh, well, I'm paint sort faces? Of, I'm sort of depicting everyday life, and that's sort of what I do, is I go out and I shoot these photos on the streets of Broome County, looking for interesting scenarios and people with intriguing stories. and. Using my street photography as reference, I then create these paintings, but with my own touch based on how their story moved me. We certainly capture the street life uh, just amazingly well. If you look at the detail in the faces and in the hands and uh, all of the uh, sort of physical structure of the body, it's just an amazing technique. Um, how did you learn that? Uh, well, actually, uh, I started painting from my grandfather, who's the noted artist Armando de la Santa. Yeah, so painting is kind of in your genes. Huh? Yes, yeah. and um, he taught me quite a bit growing up, although our styles are much different. He does uh, primarily landscapes. Uh, mm -hmm. He's most known for his buildings and landscape paintings of Binghamton. And what's interesting is a lot of these paintings I have here today are taken in the same spots that he would use to paint. Let's move to this painting right here. This is really an interesting one. What uh, uh, motivated this? Uh, this was actually taken at the Harford Fair. This was the first thing I saw while entering the Harford Fair. And this man was working a game and blasting high pressured air into his mouth. And what was very funny about this was it was just amongst all the chaos, this scene, I captured that one moment. And I later brought this painting back to him and he was so excited that he had to show all his co-workers. He had me photograph his wife. He showed the owner of the fair the painting. It got a lot of attention. Well, Dylan, let's walk down to the last painting that we'll look at today, uh, this one right here. Tell us uh, what's behind that. Uh, this man I've actually ran into several times. Uh, this was actually taken on Court Street in Binghamton. And he was a paratrooper from Vietnam, and interesting story about him is during one of his missions, he jumped from a plane and his parachute didn't open. He crash landed into a tree. Oh. And Dylan, tell us a little bit about the medium that you work with. What, uh, what type of paint is this and what do you paint on? Okay, well, these are primarily oil paintings, and uh, I paint on my own specially prepared high-density fiberboard. And the reason I do that is because I get a very smooth finish and I can still exploit the brush strokes. Dylan, thanks for being on the John Burns Show. Hey, it was it's great a real being pleasure. here. Thank you. Work is amazing. Thank I appreciate you so it. Folks, stop by 4747 Vestal Parkway East at the atrium here at Realty USA. And when you're here, make sure you say hello to John Burns. He'd love to talk with you if you have any questions about uh, buying or selling real estate. See you next time.